Thank you for joining us tonight on Crown 4 News at 6. I'm Grant Lotus. And I'm Vicki Liviakis. Police have confirmed the body found over the weekend at a San Jose recycling facility is that of three-year-old Ellie Lorenzo of Fremont. Yeah, extremely sad story here. Police have also identified a person of interest in the case, but they are releasing few details. Crown 4's Dan Kerman reports. The search for three-year-old Ellie Lorenzo is over. San Jose police say the coroner's office has confirmed the child found in the processing area of this San Jose recycling facility about 4.30 Saturday morning is Ellie. It's an absolutely tragic loss, it's horrendous. It doesn't matter what we find out, whatever answers that we get, there's gonna be no way to make sense of a tragic loss like this or make sense of a child death in general. Fremont police launched a search for the girl on Friday after her mother reported her missing. The child had been visiting her father at his Fremont home on Thursday, but at some point the mother learned the father had been found dead in San Francisco. The father was uh, found deceased of apparent suicide in the city of San, Sac San Francisco. At this point, police will not say whether the father's suicide is tied to the child's death. We believe we, we have an idea of what may have occurred. However, until we can have conclusive evidence, we'd be in the wrong. It wouldn't be right for Ellie. It wouldn't be right for Ellie's family for us to try to make that determination until we have conclusive evidence to say so. When asked if Ellie's father has a criminal past, police would only say they do not have a lot of history with this individual. Police won't say whether the dead father is the person of interest they've identified. At this point, investigators are still trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together, and when they do, they will let the family know. They say it won't bring back Ellie, but it will give the family some answers. At police headquarters in San Jose, Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News. Tonight,